ever find yourself up a tree? Well, sometimes you might need some extra juice. And today we are reviewing the Ramas 30 Plus Battery Pack. We've got the Ramas Sense 8 Plus here for unboxings. Maybe. I think that's the part that was holding this together. There we go. All right, and there it is, folks. Boom, we've got manual here with information on it. So nice to see the manual there giving us a couple details. There is nothing more, it is just a battery bank. So if you do not have a charger, I suggest that you pick up a charger. So it, yeah, it does not come with one. Here is the battery bank, the Romas power bank. Here's our four LED indicators. Model number PHP 30 Pro. And it looks like the input allows for five volts at two amps. Output over here is five volt at three amps. All right, guys, welcome back to another great review. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right, so today we are reviewing the Ramas 30,000 milliamp hour power bank. Now, if you haven't already seen, I did a review on the Power Add 30,000 milliamp hour power bank, and just yesterday I did a review on the Jackery Power Station. So we're going to be using some good tools today to check the input and output of this device, see what it really says, because online and in the instructions, this is so confusing. We got the Fit Plus, we got the dual charging uh, voltage sign there. We've got the Fit Plus IQ. I mean, it's pretty confusing if you ask me. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be reviewing this and checking it out and seeing what the real numbers are. And um, one of the things that I found a little bit deceiving is that they try to allude, allude to Quick Charge 3, and I don't believe this has Quick Charge 3 capability. Maybe quick charge two, but not three. Three is getting into that 18 watt range. And so I'll be demonstrating to you using my app, uh, my AccuBattery app to show you the charging speed of this battery pack and compare it to my OnePlus 7T warp charger. Now that one puts out around 30 watts of power. This should be putting out a maximum of around 12 watts per port. So we're gonna see what it can actually do. Online it says 18 watts. I'm guessing that's between two or maybe three of them, which is reasonable. But yeah, for 25 to $35 so far, I think it's a pretty good deal. So let's dive into those numbers and take a look at what we're actually purchasing here. First test that bottom port there. We're gonna plug into the double lightning bolt. Nice, it has a nice firm grab. You can see the lights are on there, it's charging. Okay, so we got about 1,176 milliamp. We're gonna plug into the second one here, the Fit Plus. Okay, so as you can see, almost identical charge speeds at 1,174. Let's go ahead and try that Type-C charger. I've got this super, super thick cable here for up to 100 watt charging. Plug that in there, there it goes. And let's check those charge speeds. Wow guys, I'm actually pretty surprised. The Type-C put out a maximum in the 1700 milliamp hour charging range and at the lower end it was in the average of the 1600 range. So this is just fantastic news for you guys that are trying to charge through Type-C. Um, you guys will definitely see some pretty quick charging speeds off this. Um, getting very close to that quick charge three type speed. So I'm actually really happy to see that. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the input charging speeds here and see what it can handle for input charge. Let's take a look. 12 watts, it's charging at 12 watts. That's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our input charge speed via this lightning to USB. Okay, with the lightning to USB, we're getting about a 10 watt charge. So a little bit faster again with that Type-C, which I do recommend. 
but that's pretty good for a 10 watt input on the one port not bad okay so here we are with our micro USB you can see it there so it looks like we're also charging at 10 watts to the micro USB so both the lightning and the other one charge at 10 watts it looks like it is only allowing the 10 watt charging to occur so really you're only going to be able to charge with the one port which means it's going to take longer to charge this final test we're going to see if we can charge three devices at the same time we're going to charge the phone we're going to charge the speaker and we're also going to charge this other phone wow look at that guys it's charging all three devices at the same time that's pretty amazing and uh, yeah let's check the wattage that's going to my phone one more time with all three devices plugged in all right let's check the weight Overall, I think it's an excellent buy. Again, in that $25 to $35 range, you're getting yourself a good buy. Right now, it's 25% off on Amazon. When I first checked it, it was $25. 30,000 milliamp hours for $25 is in a steal. It's a steal when it comes to batteries. Its elongated shape allows you to put it into a pocket, as long as your pants aren't going to fall off. <laughs> and the Type-C charging puts out the highest charging amount that I've seen in any of the previous charger bricks or batteries uh, in terms of just a standard charger. So it's really good. This isn't quick charge four or four plus. This is not a one plus uh, 7T warp charger, but it definitely is going to charge your devices very quickly. And I think you'll be very happy with this. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It takes a while to charge this on the 10 to 12 watts, but I recommend charging off the type C. Get yourself into a type C cable uh, and get into a quick charge three power brick or a uh, 12 watt charger. Awesome battery bank. I do recommend it and I think you'll be happy with it. Thanks guys again for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, like I said, make sure you get a power adapter for this if you don't have one. Just share, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.